Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back to our Crystal Palace career mode, man. This is episode 8, man. Yes, so we're back, we're back with a brand new episode, man. Thank you for the support in the last episode of which it was episode 7. Um, so far, we are second on the league. And we are in the second half of the league, of which is not bad. After 25 games, we are still second, which means we are about to finish in the. You, we're gonna play European football in the next season. That's what I can say right now. And uh, surprisingly, West Ham is number third, right behind us with 43 points. But Man City and Arsenal are not far from them. So that's not bad and we are playing West Ham United. They are coming at Sunhurst Park and we're gonna go with our second team where we have Banjuai and Ayu up front. Yes, we're gonna strike with those two Palacios playing in a cam location Koyate in the middle of the park Tavena on the right wing. <laughs> We all know our main problem is going to be Anatovic. He is the problem at West Ham United. Every time we play West Ham United, Anatovic is a problem. Anderson is a problem. I don't know if Anatovic is playing. Yamalenko is playing. Anatovic is number seven. Yes, he's playing. As we are trying to launch an attack in the first few minutes, man. It's that minutes and you see Lukic, so Koyate, Koyate lost the ball to Zobnin. Zobnin so Anatovic. An Anatovic is going through, but he turns back and passes it to Anderson. Anderson back to Obiang, Lanzini. Obiang with the shot, Butland with the save. Coming back on the 26th minute, good ball to Palacios. Palacios is through. Palacios, it's a goal. It's one nil after 26 minutes. We are one nil up. Palacios has been on form, man. He's been great. He's been great. He's been one of those players I can depend on in this team. I think he's a he's a fantastic player, man. He's a fantastic player. Having him in my team, it's like, I don't know, it's it's too great. He, he's so good. He is so good, man. I love to use him. I really, really, I'm enjoying him in this episode. I'm enjoying him more than in any other episode I've been using him in. But in this episode, it's great. West Ham in the attack again, but the ball went out of play. Lanzini, we got the ball back. Palacia so Jordan Ayu, Jordan Ayu to punch Y, punch Y. Palacia is through again. Palacia, the movement of this boys. Palacia is through. Palacia with the shot, he missed. He missed. They coming forward with Anatovic. Anatovic is through. Anatovic with the shot, it's a goal. I knew it was gonna be a problem. The Austrian born player. He was gonna be a problem. I'm just sad that in real life he's leaving West Ham United. He actually left West Ham United. But if they get Sebastian Sebastian Holler, I think Holler will be a good replacement for him. He's tall, he's strong. In the air he can make magic. Palacios with another shot. Good shot, but he didn't go in. Anatovic with the yellow card. 
last minute of the half man it's added on time palash has lost the ball and anatovic and obab and obiang trying to combine but referee ends the game we dominated position in the first half but it ends one one second half is underway koyate won the ball palacios palacios lupeto 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 back to noich but west ham is coming forward with walsha walsha dribbles koyate but koyate won the ball back look with a good pass oh god good defending by babuena anderson is coming forward again tnd tnd last minute of the game anatovic 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 with the cross terrible cross but it got the player he took a shot and it was well saved by the keeper trying to launch the long ball forward it's good as well look at punch wide punch wide is going for it, but there's no one in the box there's only one player now there are two good cross but the that guy blocked that certain goal that was a certain goal man they blocked it they managed to block it we can make changes a lot is gonna be coming in and kubo is gonna be coming in as well yet as with his height is gonna be coming in as well just um, a few last minutes of the game they are told maybe they can get their heads on this good ball in yet as with the header that was gonna be a brilliant goal first touch and the goal but it didn't go in good defending by West Ham the referee's gonna end the game Hector with the shot but he missed and the referee ends the game that's it we drew that game with West Ham it was not an easy game but what can we say man we tried we played well we played well we're gonna simulate Preston we are at home it's FA it's Emirate FA Cup it's saturday 16 feb at 3 p.m we need to beat them easily they missed the penalty with browning palacios scored palacios is on form i think this is the best palacios i've used in a long long time two nil jordan are you on the 56th minute 67 jordan are you make it three nil as the referee ends the game it's 3-0 we are through to the next round of the emirates fa cup next game leicester city at king power stadium man it's not gonna be easy it's raining it's raining <laughs> Leicester City coming forward with Vardy but the, blo the ball was blocked but it went to Madison but the pass wasn't good Kutepov got the ball back it's with Anderson Anderson to Mangala Mangala so tossed tossed the ball to Baseli Baseli with the good pass coming forward with one Pasaka one Pasaka one Pasaka with the good cross but good defending by Maguire of which he might be heading to Man United I think by the end of this week we will know what happened I had the room saying that they accepted 80 million for him with 60 million up front and at all oh my god Sancho scored an easiest of goals mistake by my defender one Pasaka made a huge error he turns and then he let the ball behind him and then Sancho was just getting a free head the Buckland with no chance but I think Buckland should have done better the ball was straight to him but he went down coming forward to Thompson but the ball was blocked by the, the Nigerian they're coming forward again but we got the ball back with Townsend look at the look at the player is running through there Lasagna Lasagna is through Lasagna he missed he hit the post oh my god and Phil Evans defended that 
they coming forward with bell hand uh, madison madison so vadi vadi back to need back to vadi then one basaka two control basidi now tosa tosa tried to pass but it didn't work madison won the ball back vadi vadi take the ball back to didi madison didi now tillamans sakai sakai gave it to sancho back to tillamans sancho sancho is dribbling his way through but it was well blocked by good above referee ends the first half we are one nil down boys we are one nil down and that's not good man second half is underway we got the corner but vadi defended the corner on the 66 minute the shot is coming in but it was well blocked by maguire now sancho gave it to indeed indeed to okazaki baseli won the ball back townsend we are through lasagna with the shot it was blocked by maguire another shot by zaha it was blocked as well this blocking game is really really annoying sometimes ai players they can block everything sometimes especially if you are a goal down terrible cross that was a terrible cross it was way too much Leicester City coming forward but we gonna win that ball boosters gave it to Mangala Mangala to Anderson Anderson to Baseli Baseli so Tosa gave it to Tosa Tosa with the pass good pass as well to one Basaka last minute of the game one Basaka with the cross good cross but Evans defended well Evans is my man of the match in this game he's been doing well man remember the ball that hit the post and he take it out that's it we lost the game to leicester city we didn't have the best of games but we tried man it's just that sometimes this game would demolarize you because whatever that happens when you hit the post all the time we're gonna simulate this game against brighton and we're simulating with our second team brighton scored and honor in the eight minute oh my god let me not lose this one as well jesus christ the first half is finished where i go down they took out palacios the office got the second goal it's game over kubo for lukic what the hell who's making those substitutes it's game over we lost two new to Brighton. We lost two games in the throat. Ah, that's not good. And we have Man United next. Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? We are at Sunhurst Park against Manchester United. And we're gonna go with our first team. It's fit, it's ready for this game. Let's see if maybe we stand a chance we are still second of the league even after two games lost we need to be focused in this game the whole 90 minutes we can't afford to make mistakes at least a draw here will make me feel better but actually we don't need a draw if we want to hold on to that spot we need to start collecting maximum points good draw Saha with the head up but the hair with the save Good corner in, but it was well defended. Townsend is in the 18 yard area, his shot was blocked. Good defending by Lasagna, but the pass was not that good. Tossard. Tossard so one Pasaka, one Pasaka, one Pasaka with a good cross. Lasagna is free and he scored. Lasagna don't miss those chances man don't ever I mean ever give him those chances man he's gonna bury them 
He's gonna bury them. Look at that. That was clinical header. The defender bad marking. Rafael is behind Lasagna. You can't mark him like that. You need to make sure that you get in front of him. He's gonna punish you. He's not Zaha. He can punish you with his head, man. He's very good. That's why I like this boy. He can run. Look at him. 12 goals in the Premier League. He can run and he's good with his head. I think he's one of the underrated strikers in the game, but yeah, if you use him, I'm telling you, if you are doing a small team career mod, buy him is about 10, 11 million, and you won't regret your money. You will never regret your money. If you know how to use him though, because some people, they don't know how to, we're not the same, that's what, that's what I can say, we're not the same, we prefer different players sometimes. But for me, Lasagna is good. Good ball to Lasagna again. Good 10. But the defender, he was aware of the 10. Tossot. We're coming forward. That's a chance. But Herrera defended brilliantly. Lukaku. Marshall. Trying a one-two with Lukaku. But it didn't work. We just stole the ball back with a good pass to Zaha. With Zaha. Turns inside. With Zaha scored. It's 2 nil. It is 2 nil. with Zaha with the brilliant goal. I feel so satisfied when I do that. I make AI defending looks like, I don't know, they look like poor, I mean, they look like amateurs. Look at that. He just ran all the way through two people. He eliminated two defenders. Look at that, including Smalling. It was difficult for Smalling to come back. He just watched him. It's brilliant when it works like that. I know sometimes it doesn't work like that because AI defenders can be starrings, can be like everywhere. This moment here, there was a rubbish moment ever. Rubbish. They called for an offside, but if you look there, I'm gonna go back to that. That one is a clean tackle. They call offside. Offside on Lasagna. But when I look, I don't know. Probably he's coming from an offside position. I don't know. But when I look at this, you can never call an offside. And if you see where he is, they're going to put the ball exactly where Lasagna touches the ball. They call that an offside. I don't know, EA. There is anything that is called an offside on my half. If there is, then which means I still need to learn more about soccer. But as far as I know, there is no offside in my half. That tackle is clean. It's deemed clean. That's why the commentators are saying he's called offside. Because they're calling Lasagna offside. Okay, let's look at the straight line. Maybe Lasagna is offside. I'm done. I'm I'm not sure of that. It's too close. Maybe he was offside. But look at where the free kick is taken. That what upset me. And after that they scored. I was so so pissed. I wasn't even paying attention because I was so pissed. You cannot put the free kick where you're gonna say it's an offside, but it's on my half. Then that's not a free that's not an offside to me. That's just bullshit refereeing. That's what EA needs to sort out and stop giving us the patches that are for F F U T. We don't we don't play the shit man. Some of us we buy the game not for that shit. Not for that shit. We buy it for something. We, we want to play career mode. If you want to sort out, sort out the issues in the gameplay. Within your gameplay. That's what the problem is. The inconsistency of your gameplay. That is another shit that we're worried about. Because I don't know if it's just me. But on weekends, the game is not the same as during the week. I'm telling you that now. If you can pay your attention. I remember I said this in the beginning of the... Of the... Um, FIFA 19. I did mention this. As Man United scored the second goal, it's 2-2. There's nothing I can do. I'm just out of the game now. I'm so upset. I'm so, so upset. Because uh, those things, they need to focus more on gameplay. Don't tell us about, uh, you want to make internet connections or what, what. Who, who cares? 
Yes, you paying attention to that because that shit benefits you, not us. We are the game players. We like you can't keep on changing the game every time. We don't know how to play this game. They were, you will hear soon there's a new patch and they're changing this and this and the game is completely different. I can't say much about the useless thing that they introduced it's called time finishing. I never heard that in football. I never heard that, that there's a player who have a timed finishing. That was a useless addition that we don't need. If you want to make the game real, then take out all those stupid things. Leave the finesse short as it was before, we enjoyed it. Not this timed finish rubbish. It's really rubbish. The next thing you're gonna reduce it to saying it's too much, it's overpowered. Then you're gonna reduce it. Why introduce it in the first place? Who asked for it? Nobody. Get rid of those things and sort out your gameplay. Make the gameplay be so consistent. If there's a need for you to add another difficulty, add it. Stop making passes garbage. Because your passes are so garbage in this game. We hate the passes in this game, man. We hate it. Because it really upset us. You're trying to pass the ball the other direction, it goes the other direction. Then he is gonna say we're still the best. What, what, what. You're no longer the best. Maybe the best retired. But you are just a useless company now. You're just giving us this thing. This is not the game. This is just a cover and change of color. Bye, guys. I'm so upset right now. That right now.